Hello again and welcome back to another one, and today we are on Operation Takedown Falls Narratives, along with how Crook has reacted to Eminem missing out on two awards. And as we dive in, hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, turn on notifications, and find me on social media at etlifestyle underscore web. So in my last video, I highlighted how some Eminem fans called the credibility of the VMAs into question, seeing that the least popular artists in the hip-hop category took the award, but the one thing I forgot to highlight is that the complaints regarding other categories were much more than those for the hip-hop category, and it's important to highlight some of these before I reveal some false takes used to attack Eminem's fanbase. In a tweet that now has over 270,000 likes on Twitter, after the announcement that Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande won Song of the Year for Rain On Me, the user stated, I have never heard this song in my life. Now of course this is definitely hyperbolic, but the reason this is stated is because Lady Gaga's Rain On Me won against more popular songs, and under the thread users brought out receipts highlighting that even as an audio, it doesn't measure up to songs like The Box by Roddy Rich. Now I have a more concrete answer on why Lady Gaga cleaned out the awards, but here are some wild takes. The user states that's because the charts are rigged, Ariana Grande will win any award day one or two, and another user takes this further, Ariana and Lady Gaga are the most privileged group in America, of course they won. And some people who don't know better on what goes on behind the scenes drop takes like this. VMAs is public voted show, which means more people have heard it and liked it than haven't. Rain On Me is a worldwide hit, not surprised y'all don't know it LMAO, Americans listen to only the same rap music and think they're cool while trashing pop, Song of the Year is not a most popular TikTok hit. Now this user had some points, but the box is a bigger worldwide hit than Rain On Me, and it sold more and hit top 5 in 17 countries, including the United States, United Kingdom, Australia, Canada and New Zealand. But that's besides the point, because as I revealed in my last video on this, the TNC state, if for any reason this voting process is interrupted, is found to have been tampered with in any way, or for any other reason that sponsor believes in its sole discretion to be reasonably necessary, sponsor reserves the right to select the winners at its discretion. So that takes a dump on the credibility of the voting system, but here's a strong reason on why Lady Gaga dominated this year. To get an artist as huge as Gaga to perform is no easy task, and Kanye West has revealed how this was done before. An article from the rap titled, Did Kanye West Expose That MTV's VMAs Are Rigged? quotes Kanye West stating, Beyonce, I was hurt because I heard that you said you wouldn't perform unless you won video of the year over me, West said of the 2016's VMAs during a manic onstage rant. Beyonce indeed won for her polarizing sensation formation at the August ceremony over West for his video Famous. And now linking back to the discussion at hand, notice how a brand new award was also created for Lady Gaga in 2020. But all these points didn't stop some from trying to claim that of all the viral posts complaining about the winners, it is Eminem fans that are crying because E lost. The user state stands are mad at the VMAs for not giving an award to M. Accusing them of rigging the votes is the very reason this fan base is awful. You guys can't stand somebody else besides your favorite winning. Now I'm yet to see a viral post of an Eminem fan complaining about the winners, but there's plenty on Twitter from other fan bases, but you know how it goes, Eminem fans are the punching bag of social media right now, when some of the most popular tweets about the hip hop category are not even by Eminem fans. For instance, a user states, so basically, Doja Cat won over Roddy Ricch, Jack Harlow, Megan won over Eminem Future, Drake Travis got Roddy Ricch the baby. I guess this really shows how trash and rigged the VMAs are. And I did some checking, this isn't an account that you'll classify as an Eminem fan by any stretch, and according to the tweet about Eminem fans, it's time to hate on Crook for voicing his opinion. Crook reacted after a user asked about the VMA stating, I told him yesterday that I would say down with the VMAs if he lost, so here it goes, down with the VMAs, which gets this response, why don't they simply admit our votes don't count, it would be easier. And they did use his name to hype people and tweeted many times about him in the last days even though they already knew the winners. Yes, you're right, down with them. And I'll add that ratings tank if they don't nominate big artists, so that's one more reason. Another funny point I missed out in my last video was the comparisons on social media between Kelsey's outfit and Eminem's outfit in one of the scenes from the music video of Without Me that's on the verge of crossing a billion on this platform. And in response to this going around on Twitter, the user dropped some heat stating, 
one does not simply claim to be a 6'4 scary rapper covered in tats and take a stage name after heavy artillery, then show up to an award show in hot pink and pearls. Carols, you are not Prince, you are not rocking this. But long story short, the votes count until MTV says they don't when it suits them. And we have evidence to support this conclusion. So share your thoughts below, like and subscribe if you haven't and see you on the next one.